Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing some SFX makeup like usual, except today I'm going to show you the difference between liquid latex and silicone. And you can't see either of these things. Let me just... So this is my silicone kit. I keep everything all in here. And then liquid latex just comes by itself. So I kind of just want to like hop right into it. So I have all my stuff in this pink bucket that I always have handy. So what we're going to need for the liquid latex, I think we're going to do liquid latex on this leg and silicone on this leg so you guys can see the difference of what they look like when they are completely. So liquid latex and silicone, you will need a cup for each product. So I'm going to start with liquid latex because it takes longer to set. It can take anywhere from five minutes to an hour. So a little bit time staking. I'm also just cleaning out the top right now. Um, I'm probably gonna end up time lapsing this, but yeah. So I think we're gonna go for like bear attack look-ish thing today. Like big claw marks down my legs, so like three lines on each, just, you know, a little bit different than what I usually do. So I'm just gonna fill up that quite a bit. And you're just gonna, with liquid latex, you're just gonna use it over the entire surface. So I'm kind of just gonna go in really heavy in the center, just so that I can use it and pull it out. So I think I'm gonna time lapse this part. Now that everything is covered, I'm just going to let this dry and I'm going to dump the rest of this back into the latex bottle. Now I'm going to mix equal parts of A and B for the liquid silicone. Liquid silicone, it's just silicone. So this is A and B, if I can get it. For some reason it doesn't want to focus. And then after that, I'm going to put a little bit of Thyvex on it which will set it, and that'll be it. Now that I have equal parts of A and B inside of this cup, actually I'm gonna add just a bit more B, just to be safe. Don't want more of one than the other because then it's not equal and it won't mix right. And then just a couple drops of Thevex. So I did about six just because I did quite the amount, which you can barely tell. Then I'm going to take a wooden popsicle stick or craft stick and just mix it all together. Once it's all mixed together, you can start applying it to your legs. I'm pretty sure I'm going to time lapse this as well, but we'll see. So I just want to make sure that it's all nice and mixed and then you can just apply it directly. There is no heating or cooling, so you don't have to wait. The only thing you actually have to wait for is for it to set. And it will be sticky no matter what. It's just whether or not it's coming off on your fingers. So I want this entire area to be kind of coated like the other leg, but maybe just not as thick or not as thin actually. Because the other one we're going to cut with scissors and this one we're going to actually use the side end of the popsicle stick and draw the lines that we want. So this one is a little bit easier, doesn't require any sort of sharp tools. If you are a beginner, I would recommend going with the silicone rather than the latex, especially if you are allergic or you have somebody in your family who is allergic to silicone. I would I mean, not silicone, latex, I would always go for silicone or even some Ben Nye scar wax. 
that works wonders as well. I don't currently have any with me. Otherwise, I probably would be using that. So I'm going to use the back end of this. I might actually have to make some more silicone. I do. So I'm going to start making some more real quick. Just because I do want some thicker areas where it looks very deep and sunken. So I'm just going to make some more real quick. Once you get pretty good at this, you can probably just eyeball it. That should be good. And then just a little bit of Thibex or Thibex or however you want to pronounce it. And then back to mixing. You want to do this really quick because the silicone on my leg is already starting to set. Up and then directly on. There are certain areas, so for every area where I'm going to put a bump or a cut, I want it to be thicker, and then take the end and cut straight through it. There's going to be one right here, which is why I made it thick, and then thinner on the sides, and then straight through. You can go backwards if you would like, just to make sure that you get pretty clean slit area. It doesn't really matter. You know, cuts aren't necessarily going to be clean. They're quite messy. I think everybody is here who is here has had some sort of cut before, whether it be a paper cut or maybe like some glass. And you know that the area around the cut is popped up more than the cut itself. The area typically get swollen and tender. And so we are going to try to replicate that using the silicone. I'm gonna pull it a little bit farther this way. That was a little bit sideways. Sorry if you can hear the ferrets in the background in between the time lapse. And then we're just gonna use whatever we have left to kind of just smooth the edges down. Now, for each of these products, you do want to make sure that whatever surface you are using has been shaved or waxed or some form of hair removal because pulling it back up will hurt. It will pull on any hair that you have in that area. So just be warned. All right, and now we're just gonna let these dry. Now, both legs have been powdered using a white powder. You can also use setting powder, just like this one, which is just a cover girl. And you can kind of already really tell the difference of why I prefer to use silicone for cuts. I mean, it looks more natural, I guess. This one is very rigid and bumpy, whereas this one is smooth and soft. This one is just more of a hassle, and unless you have water, al water activated or alcohol activated um, skin paints, it's a lot harder to use powder color or sorts of stuff like that on um, liquid latex. I mean, it's fine for silicone, but liquid latex, it becomes quite the issue. You can see I'll be using this palette to start with the bruising around the areas. So you'll see what I mean by how this doesn't take it. My skin will take it, and then the liquid latex will just look really rough.
So you can definitely tell that the silicone definitely retained way more color than the latex. I think it became very obvious which one retains the color. This one definitely looks worse. I actually messed with the color here. The color was a bit too dark. So I just went over it with some pink and I'll go over it. I just went over it with pink to kind of really show the stars. So it was quite a bit easier to do the filling in with the silicone than it was to fill in the latex just because of how big the spaces actually became. I think that we have a very obvious winner, which one looks better. Um, I feel like it's no doubt definitely the silicone. I think that the, um, what's it call it, the liquid latex just looks cheesy, it looks bad. It's really not great for making cuts because of how much it just tears and it just rips. However, the silicone is looking quite good, I believe. So I think that this is our winner. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and if you want to, go ahead and down donate down below. Make sure you hit that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.